Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. Now this will be for the 6th to the 12th of December 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay, one more shuffle for Taurus. Taurus, what have you got going on? 6th to the 12th of December. Ooh, you're releasing something. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go there. So, not bad, actually. I mean... You're leaving, you're kind of leaving something behind. You're releasing something. Um, but like the end card, the two of cups, new love. Like this could be someone, normally somebody who's like a kindred spirit or you first, you know, you fall in love at first sight. But we'll, we'll move on to that at the end. But I mean, you know, and you've also got the sun card here. So everything's going to turn out fine for you guys. Um, now we'll go through the bottom of the deck first. So whatever you've been going through, and it looks like this thing that you're going to be releasing, I mean, I feel like you were going to release it, but you also need to spend some time by yourself. I mean, you really do need to withdraw. You need to just take some time and do that kind of soul searching, the introspection that you need to do to work on you. And, you know, I feel like you need to take back your own power because you could have been in a situation with the Emperor in reverse, where, you know, they were very controlling or you were trying to control the situation, like, excessively just, you know, to prevent something happening or, or something like that. So um, the thing I do want to mention, though, is you have the Emperor and the Empress. Now, the Emperor's in reverse and the Empress is upright. Now, they're, like, the, you know, like, the most divine counterpart you can get. But... One's in reverse. So does that mean, for some of you, it could mean that you are in a, um, you are in a divine counterpart, but the person that's more like the emperor in reverse, the controlling person, really needs to do some work on themselves before you can come together. The other, it could also mean that you are just not, you know, you're more, um, what's the word? Karmic. More karmic. But, you know, it depends if this person's willing to do some work on themselves, I guess, first. But you've got that there. Also, you do need to nurture yourself. Um, look after you. If you're trying not to get pregnant, be very, very careful. You may have kids to this person or to, you know, in general. Um, so whatever you've been going through, though, I feel like you're with somebody who, and it could have been you or it could have been your person, was emotionally manipulative. You know, they could have been violent crafty moody that kind of situation somebody that's not trustworthy not devoted you know it's the complete opposite of king of cups in you know when it's in reverse um but i also feel like you know it wasn't a solid romantic relationship and you know this is somebody that maybe you thought was you know a safe situation this person you could trust but you just couldn't but this was all a spiritual lesson for you. So whatever you've been through, you know, you needed to learn, learn, learn from it. And really, it was more just a missed opportunity. It could have been a distraction. It could, as I said, I feel like it was just, it was a spiritual lesson you needed to learn. There could have also been lack of um, intimacy because it's a wand in reverse. So it could have been lack of sex, lack of intimacy, that kind of situation. Whatever you're doing, though, you need to keep trusting your intuition. 
because as I said, everything is going to work out fine. You are going to have your 10 of pentacles, which is like your happy family life with the stability of, you know, material resources, that kind of thing. So everything is going to work out fine for you. Um, you know, spend time with friends, you know, see how you go. You may even meet this per new person through, you, you know, going out with friends or through a friend or something like that. Right. Now, on the table, you've got the King of Pentacles. You've got the Death card. You've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. You've got the Strength card in reverse and the Two of Cups. I mean, it pretty much looks like... What's Taurus's card? King of Pentacles. That is you. King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So that is you. So it's telling me that there's something you need to release. Like this is you showing up in your own reading saying you need to release something and, you know, put a death to something. And I feel like it's probably your past. As I said, it's a situation that you needed to learn from. Um... It was a spiritual lesson. It was something, you know, that, as I said, is teaching you something, right? So when you release it, though, it's sort of, it's like an ending and a new beginning because you've got to have an ending to get a new beginning. So, you know, release this situation or people that are holding you back. You're doing some work, as I said, because I feel like you need to withdraw. So you will need to do that introspection and soul searching, like I said. So you're going to be transforming spiritually who you are, which is good. You're evolving. Let's find out. Oh, my God. I mean, there's the three cups anyway. It's the exact same card. As I said, you know, spend time with friends. I feel like you're going to release it. Now just be by yourself. Spend time with your friends, your close community, your, you know, family, whatever. Just go and enjoy time with them. Don't be looking for a new person. Don't be trying to date, you know, I feel like you might also have some sort of celebration maybe with somebody you know or something like that. Maybe you need to go and do that. You know, you also have the two of pentacles. Um, you need to kind of prioritize, you know, and um, I mean, somebody could have been, okay, somebody could have been juggling this person that you need to release. They could have been juggling things, people, whatever, right? And you obviously didn't really want to make a choice or they didn't want to make a choice about what they really wanted. At the same time, maybe you didn't make a choice about, you know, what you wanted. Did you want to stay in this or not? Which is, event. this is now why you need to release it. You need to release this person. You know, here we go. Detach from this devil person. This person who could have had addictions or it could have just been a toxic relationship. But as I said, you didn't really want to make that choice. But there were obstacles and challenges to this relationship. You needed to let it go. You felt like you didn't get any kind of closure. But really, it comes back to your self-worth and, you know, you needing to work on you, your self-love. Because if you did, I feel like you wouldn't have been with this. You would, you know, you would have cut this situation sooner. Um, anyway, let's get some other cards. Give us a quick shuffle. Yeah, moving on. You're moving to calmer waters. When you release this, this is what's happening. And look, you've got the King of Cups. Like, you know, this is somebody who, you know, is more supportive and empathetic and emotionally balanced and loyal and trustworthy and devoted and, you know, the opposite of what you were having. You know, you're moving on because what you want is the King of Cups upright, not the King of Cups in reverse like you had over here where it was more, you know, this person being the opposite of devoted and trustworthy. You want this person who's going to be trustworthy. So you're moving to calmer waters so you can then find that. As I said, you might meet this person through a friend. You might not. But, you know, I feel like you definitely have um, trust issues because of this. Like, you definitely do. But at the same time, you've got the hangman. Like... You need to let it go. You, you know, get some enlight. You've you've had some enlightenment. I'm pretty sure. You know, you've probably um, got some wisdom, and now you just need to withdraw. You need to let this whole situation go. 
you know, and work on manifesting what you do want, not what you don't want. It's probably caused you anxiety, you know, maybe a lack of sleep, maybe you're depressed, maybe there was worry. You know, you had all these feelings, which is completely normal, but you're releasing that. You know, you realize this person just had secrets and, you know, they weren't good. You needed to detach from this person and I think you're finally realizing that. So you're going to eventually release this, this worry, this concern, you know. Yeah, same card. Whoop. Lovers in reverse, as I said. Like, you need to do this work on yourself. Like, your self-love, your self-worth. Like, you need to do that. Um, you know, there was a difference with your uh, values between you and this person. And, you know, maybe what you, what you both thought a relationship should, you know, really be like was probably very different. You know, they thought that meeting other people probably was okay, whereas you may not have, you know, that kind of situation. And as I said, two of swords, like, I don't feel like you knew everything. I also feel like you're in denial. Like, I don't know whether you thought everything was amazing and it really wasn't. And when you think back, man, maybe now you're kind of realizing it kind of wasn't, you know, did it really make you happy? Nah, maybe not, you know? Um, and I do feel like you were confused you were indecisive. I mean, they could have been the same. Your person could have been exactly the same. You know, that's probably why they stayed stayed around because they didn't, you know, know how they felt. So I feel like there was a lot of mental conflict. And, you know, as I said, it was like resisting moving on from, from this person, you know. But at the same time, you know, you felt like there was some sort of unfinished business. Because I think you didn't know everything, you kind of was like, well, I don't, I don't really understand what happened, you know, that we were fine one moment, we weren't the next, you know, I just feel like there was this whole confusion and that's why you kept holding on to something that really you shouldn't have, but you just couldn't seem to get past how and why this happened and, you know, you don't, because you don't know everything. Yeah, this person was being dishonest. King of Wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Justice in reverse. The Devil in reverse. You need to detach from this person. And you probably actually don't even have any kind of communication with this person right now. Um, but at the same time, you were resisting letting it go. But somebody was juggling. Like I keep saying, they were dishonest. They are probably juggling you and other people. Um, I just feel like with the five of pentacles, like you're recovering from this now, you know, you know that this person, you know, that you know that there was lack of whatever sexual energy with this person, sexual connection, you know, intimacy, that kind of thing. And, you know, you, this person could have also been a narcissist. They could have been impulsive and maybe them being with somebody else or having other people was impulsive. Maybe they just had some sort of sex addiction. You know, whatever this was, I just feel like you are recovering from this now. You know, like you let this person go and you're recovering from it because you realize, like, as I said, you kept holding on to it because you didn't know everything and because you know, there was always this hope of, I don't know everything, like I need some sort of closure and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're never going to get it. Um, and I mean, maybe what's going on in their life now is pretty much, you know, showing you exactly what was going on, you know, just a thought. Okay, so as I said, it's going to take inner strength for you to release this, but, you know, it needed to happen. Tell me more. Yeah, I feel like you now, 
either manifesting what you want or you're or you're actually you know making a change fairly quickly you've decided you know it was like one day oh i'm still obsessed with this person next day you know what i really need to let this go like a fast-paced change you've just decided eh -eh, i'm out maybe you're already out of this situation but you still you know like when i mean out i mean you were holding on to it and even energetically you were holding on to it maybe now you're finally releasing it because you know you're moving on and leaving the past behind which is great you know i feel like i don't feel like it's going to be communication because yeah what is there to communicate about really i mean if this person's moved on or done what like what is there to communicate about um I feel like you're definitely moving on because you realize that, you know, there wasn't a firm foundation. You realize this person was being deceptive. You know, they had secrets. They were doing things that they knew they shouldn't have, you know. Tell me more. Throw them out. Thank you. Yeah, you're working, you need to work on your self-worth for sure. You know, like with this person, and I feel like in just in your life in general, you're always feeling like you're waiting. You're waiting to reap rewards. You're waiting to get this love of your life or you're waiting to whatever. You're always in this waiting period. Um, and, you know, I feel like you will reap these rewards of your efforts. It's like any work you do on yourself now is not going to be of, you know, a waste of time and, you know, um, but I feel like you're kind of needing to contemplate. And that's, as I said, why I think you then decide to move on and focus on your self-worth. You realize you deserve better than somebody who's, you know, a piece of crap, somebody who's doing you wrong, whatever. Keep the faith though, because yeah, look, work on your self-confidence. Contemplate, meditate, relax, recuperate, like take some time for you, like I said. Um, and you've got the two of cups, so which is about falling in love, you know. Let's see what that's about. I feel like it's also about forgiveness and, you know, that will then bring the ending of challenges. Like you don't have to forgive them and tell them I forgive you. You know, write a letter, return it to the earth once you burn it. You could do that. Or it could just mean that you go, you know what, enough. I need to just move on. I need to let this go. Like this is holding, you know, me holding on to shit I don't need to. Let me just, you know, release it. Yeah, like something happened in this situation like some the universe stepped in because i mean the universe knows what we don't and the universe has stepped in and gone you know what this is not for you right so here we go yeah you know you went through this whole grief and depression and um self-pity and you dwelled on the negative and oh poor you you're the victim blah 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 right right obviously it hurt you 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 were heartbroken and that's because the uni the universe has gone you know what not for your highest good so as i said you do need to release this you need to let it go you need to forgive yourself forgive the you know forgive them as such i don't really mean you need to forgive what they did but just let it go let it go you know break the cycle you know you need to break the cycle so you can then meet your person and you will there will be this new love coming in that's going to be you know a blossoming new love maybe you meet them at work maybe you uh, i don't know maybe you know you just work on your finances at the same time but i feel like there is going to be this person coming in but you need to break the cycle you need to just let this go learn from this and let it go Yeah, because, I mean, you haven't wanted to let it go because you don't want to be by yourself. You're codependent. You feel like you need someone to make you happy, to fulfill you, to, you know, be with you. You can't be by yourself. Like, 
even if you went out, oh, I've got to have some, you know, person on my arm because I don't want to be by myself. Yeah, look, you don't want to be alone. You really kind of like nine of swords, like same card you just had over here. Nine of swords, nine of swords. You know, there you are releasing this worry and, and you know, you've got deep-seated fears. You've got some sort of inner turmoil, but you need to let it go. You know, here you are, you needing to just look after yourself and also look after, um, I mean, you've actually got the king of pentacles and you've got the queen. So the queen is, I think is, well, the king was you. But I think in this situation, the person that's in reverse is person that needs to do some work on them and get their finances in order. Like just focus on that for now. And that could even be you. As I said, you are a divine counterpart or a karmic, but one of you has to work on yourselves and you probably both do. I feel like in, you haven't let go of this other person. So clearly you've got some work to do on yourself. Um, also with the Ten of Swords in reverse, like you definitely resisted letting this go you i mean you know i want to know if you're going to meet someone new though or is this just you know you moving on from this person and forgiving i think you will end up meeting someone though it's told me you will there is going to be a fresh new start but you just need to let it go because why you hold on to this past person you're not going to meet anyone let me feel that taurus yeah, there's no chance of recon reconciliation. You just need to heal from that. Um, let me find out about the love. Tell me about this Two of Cups for Taurus. Is there going to be a new love? This person may have gone on a holiday by themselves. Let your friends help you. As I said, you may be going out with friends and meeting someone through friends. And then you've got getting to know each other, true love. You don't feel optimistic about your love life. You need to love yourself first. True love, you know, like this could be the one. But, I mean, it says no chance of reconciliation. So there is going to be someone new coming in. Let me quickly get one of these cards and then I'll end it. Tell me more. Repressed emotions, healing, surrender, healing, release, facing fear, healing, subconscious release, like they all say the same thing, you know, like it's not, there is no love in this situation with this person. And at the same time, it's a lost love. You need to do some healing and, and it's, I mean, it's pretty much all saying healing, right? Which is what I've been saying. You need to do some healing on you. Definitely. You know, you do have fear and, and you're doubting, you know, whether you are going to get what you want, but you will. It's just, you need to, you need to heal from this situation first. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.